Now in the last tutorial I just finished making my script, but I never actually did any editing and I never saved anything. So I do want to go to File, Save, and I'm going to go ahead and call that the full recording, and I'm going to browse for the place to put it, and this is going to be in the Temp Audio Assets, so there's where it's going to go. That's my full recording. I've got a couple of them that you can see already. And I am saving it as a Wave PCM, and it's at the 48 um, 100 um, hertz, and I think we're good to go. So I'm going to hit OK. Now let's take a look and see what I've got here. Hopefully we will see. So I think it starts, welcome to the, right there. Now in order to use this, what you typically do is just click and then press the space bar to be able to play. Welcome to the music. If you want to zoom in, you can zoom in with the plus key or the minus key. And what it does is it kind of uses the center point of where you're at. Now if you want that to actually go to the center, you can hold down the Alt key. Whoops, the Alt key actually changes your height. I forgot about that. The Control key? Can't even remember. So I'll do it the other way. And that is by using the mouse wheel together with the Control key. It will actually kind of zoom that right into the center. So let's see. Welcome to the... That's where I start. I know this stuff is all bogus. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Welcome to the Music News Radio Show. I'm your host, Jonathan. Today we've got... So there's a big long pause right there, and that really wouldn't be what I'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of that out, and I'm just using the control key and the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. Today... So let's just delete some of that and see what we got. I'm your host, Jonathan. Today we've got loads of news and gossip. And so, not bad. Um, you know, if you save this separately, um, you can always adjust that in editing the exact timing if you want. So I'm going to move over a different way. This time I'm going to grab that bar at the top and just expand it a little bit and move over to the next place. Great new song by Steve. Now I've got a little click in here from my mouth, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that little bit. Great new song by Sting. That one's gonna be a classic. Did you hear that Taylor Swift has a new song too? Well, here it is. Th so there's the other place. Got it just a little bit. Let's see. Michael Jackson. And I think the rest of it, I know I reread it, but I'm just going to get rid of that for the time sake of making this easier. So I pretty much have my whole script completed and that is the entire script right there. So I'm going to go ahead and save this again. And I'm going to save as this time. And this time it's going to be the voiceover full. So I think it's going to save in the same place. I'm going to rewrite over what I had there. So that way I know the recording, if I ever needed to go back to it, I've got it separately. Now with this, welcome to the Music News Radio Show. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next process. Now if you have a lot of noise, like a lot of, of you know, s static going on here, one thing you might apply a little tiny bit of, and not much of, is um, a little bit of noise reduction. The way you do this is you select a small range of just the noise by itself and you can right click and go to capture noise print or there we go or you can go up to let's see effects I should know where it is right now isn't that terrible I can't remember there it is noise reduction capture noise print so it does the same thing then you can select the entire range and go back to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process, and apply this a little bit. Now, there are different settings that you can use here. If we go to the default, you can see it's way up there. I'm going to take this way down. I really don't think that that's what you want. Welcome to the Music News oh. Radio Show. I'm your host, Jonathan. Let me Today we've that got loads of news and gossip, and of course, lots of news. Let me capture that print again. For some reason it lost it when I did that. So back up to effects, noise reduction, 
noise reduction process and it should be hopefully at, at the, the uh, these settings that it was there and I usually play around with the numbers until I get what I want but I typically don't really do that much just because I find that it really can apply some digital artifacts so I'm gonna go ahead and play it oh let's apply it oh man for some reason I just saved that one little bit I didn't want to do that so I'm gonna unselect that go back to it and do it again let's go ahead and apply welcome to the music news radio show I'm your host Jonathan so that's pretty good we have almost no noise in there at all I can't hear a thing now the next thing that we're gonna do is select all of it or I'm not even sure you have to make a selection but what we want to do is we want to change um, we want to apply what's called compression to it now there's a couple things that we can do there's something called the multiband compressor and we can go to this and there's some different things here but tip the one here that I'm looking for is not in the multiband compressor and then we can go over to the single band compressor or, or the speech volume leveler and this is kinda nice too and what this does is this gives me compression so that I've got basically a little bit louder for audio. you let's start up with a new song by sting great new song by the problem with this is that it's made everything pretty loud and we can really tell when we've got that noise reduction going on so that's one of those reasons I really don't like the noise reduction welcome to the music news I don't really hear it here but I hear it in the other place so I like the one called single band compressor and we've got one called voiceover or voice thickener and that does make it a little bit nicer Welcome to the Music News Radio Show. I'm your host, Jonathan. Today we've got loads of news and gossip and, of course, lots of new songs and great music for you. Let's start up with a new song by Sting. Great new song by Sting. That you can see what it's done is it's taken all the places that were really loud and all the places that were really soft and changed them. The really loud stuff, it's brought down, and the really soft things, it's brought up. And that's, that's excellent for voiceover because now it's kind of a uniform volume the entire way through. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this as well because now we have that. We have the full voiceover. Now, one of the options is actually to select the different ranges that you want here and to save these as separate files. To do that, just select that area, right-click, and, and choose Save Selection As. Now what we can do is we can actually write over, for me, I can write over these voice intro, middle, and ending sections that I've already got here and just output something for each of those little sections. This means that there'll be individual sections for me to edit in a multi-track edit instead of having to deal with one big long sound. So I'm going to go ahead and save the second one and that will be the middle and the last one will be the end. And if you have a little bit of you know noise on the different sides I wouldn't really worry about it too much just because you'll be able to um, change that in your final edit. Alright, so that's saved out. Let's go on to the next process.